All right, we're recording. All right, so once you have your items grabbed from the back, um, you can share the setup with another person at your table. Um, so you have your ink, your two brayers, your putty knife, and you'll have your styrofoam principle and item ready to go. You'll also need to grab a colored tissue paper, which will be on a supply table. Probably stick to lighter colors. Don't choose black so it won't show up. And then a piece of newsprint that you're going to put underneath. Otherwise, it sometimes halos onto the table. Just easier for cleanup. So, I like to get my inking station set up first. So, we're just going to open up these jars. Remember, there's only like five jars of black. So, you're going to have to like share. And you don't need a ton. And we had someone go, we had some people go through the inks already. So I would grab just a little dollop and make a little puddle at the top. And then using your brayer, I like to save if you get two, if you get two different size brayers, um, I like to save my big one for the printing and then the small one for the inking. If they have the same size, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to pick up some of this ink and make a pad. Now I'm looking for, I'm sure the video is not picking this up, but I'm looking for the texture of an orange. And you want the sound to be like Velcro-y. If you hear sloshing and you're really sliding around um, and then like there's like lines coming in the your pad, you have too much ink. So you can just get rid of some of the excess and then re-roll. So you don't want to fill in your symbols. So this is a good practice round for when we get to the block printing. And I have a nice clean area. I do it on the plexi so I don't have to clean my table spot. Now I've already used this styrofoam so it's already black. But you want to roll a couple times. Make sure you got everything. You can always pick up more ink if you need to. I hit all the corners. And this is water soluble, so you can't like roll this on and then go to the bathroom. It's gonna dry fairly quickly. Let's say that's probably about good. Now I'm just gonna move this for demonstration. You'll have more room at your tables. So we're printing this four times on your tissue paper. So I have my first one on there already. Get my second one on. I like to put a little border around each one. And then I take my clean roller and then just apply a bit of pressure. You don't have to kill it, but. And then carefully peel that off because the tissue is pretty delicate and they can get kind of sticky. If yours is getting super sticky toward the last two prints that you're going to do, because you're doing it four times on these tissue flags, um, you can wash this off, let it dry, and then re-ink because they do get tackier and tackier as you are printing. So I'd roll again and then I do two more at the top. <clears throat> You do want to leave a bit of gap at the top of the tissue so that we have enough room to fold it over and then string them up and hang them. So yeah, so you'll do four and then you're good to go. Uh, just leave them at your table spots to dry until the end of class. They don't take long at all to dry. I think I'm going to have some people stringing them up as well tomorrow. So that is that. And then the next video will show you how to clean up. All right, that's it.